Uncle Sam FM here, and probably like many of you, I am kind of stuck in my house thanks to the COVID-19 coronavirus. So I thought, hey, why not start my own uh, save for FM20? And this would be the first save that I've played in FM20 that I've actually recorded. And so uh, for this edition, I thought I would start with Tony Stark as my manager. Um, of course, of Marvel fame. Uh, however, I've made a about a 20-year younger version of uh, Iron Man. Uh, but he will be my manager, and he is going to start off at East Tennessee State University, which this will be using my database file that expands American soccer all the way down to NCAA, to the Academy Division. And so Tony Stark will take over the Buccaneers and see if he can uh, start a journeyman career where he works his way up to the professional ranks and then who knows from there um, but I've started this save we're just right here in the beginning I have just accepted the job and so let's move on um, as you can see this is East Tennessee State very very low reputation even within NCAA I decided to pick a team that I have some connection with they are uh, of all of the teams in NCAA soccer, the, they are the closest to where I actually live. And so, um, unfortunately, they do, not, they do not exactly have a proud football tradition, at least soccer tradition. And so, um, it will be kind of a building effort for uh, Stark. Um, but there you can see there is some club history. Uh, they won the Atlantic Sun Championship in 2010 and 2013. And then they won the Southern Conference in 2016 and 2017. So that's fairly recent. So they have had some success in uh, their conference, uh, at least somewhat recent success. So it's not all uh, dismal. Uh, I, do, I cannot think in the top, off the top of my head of the last college soccer NCAA tournament that they actually did anything of any significance in. So it'll be a good chance to build something. Uh, this is a quick look at the best 11. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here. Uh, we'll have to, I don't know any of these players. These are all obviously generated players. Um, but we'll start to look at that. Uh, and when we schedule a press conference, sure, why not? And let's just, let's just call this save. Um, let's call it. American football 20. So obviously this is, um, I'm just showing you everything here in the beginning. Uh, I thought for this first episode, we won't go overly in depth. The college soccer season does not start for months into the game. Uh, it's, it kicks off in, I believe, August, and the game starts in January, so that's a good seven months. I'm not going to make you watch seven months of me hitting the continue button, but uh, we will take a look at the squad, maybe look at the staff a little bit, and then um, go from there, uh, possibly training. The training I'm actually probably going to have to take some time on, and I don't want you to have to watch that because this is I, – I do have some – schedules that I use when I play the professional club but this is an amateur club so their training will be very limited so likely I'm not going to I'm not going to force you to watch all that but taking a look at the squad uh I don't have an assistant yet I guess so I don't have really much to go off of scouting wise but just looking some of my high determination players uh Santangelo is my goalkeeper uh, it's kind of hard to tell. This does not look very good, if I'm being honest, but maybe comparatively speaking, it's good. Um, Hiram Gonzalez. He's got fairly high determination, I guess. He will probably be my starting right back. Good tackler, decent passer. Uh, vision is okay. All right, and then let's look at uh, center backs. I don't have much in the way of center backs, at least not pure center backs. I've got some that can play multiple positions, which is good to have. I do like players who can play in multiple spots. 
Uh, not much in the way of marking here with Fernando Chavez or heading, and he's not very strong. Uh, I'm not going to make you look at all of this. I got a, a pretty tall player here, 6'5". Uh, this is, well, that's the guy I was just looking at, Fernando Chavez. Um, Lasky is also tall. He is really not very good. Uh, Dan <laughs> Delgado is not going to play for me. A two determination. He will not see the field. I will. I will put somebody with much lower skills out there than play rather than play him. Miranda. He might be my guy. Not strong. Not a great header, but his marking and his tackling is pretty good. Positioning is also good. Vision not good. That needs to get better. I need to work on his passing a little bit because I do like for my center backs to be able to play the ball a little bit. Um, Barron, Paul Barron, looks promising as a defensive midfielder. Uh, high determination, high work rate. So right there, he's my ball winner. He is going to shield the back line. Um, very good passing, actually. So maybe he needs to be the number eight. Um, looking at... Wingers, well, center midfielders. I don't have many. I don't have many. Here's a Guatemalan. Uh, not very good determination, but good teamwork, good positioning, good passing. So he might be my default number 10, unfortunately. Um, here's a player with decent determination. Yeah, here we go. Bayasi. He can play as a number 10 or possibly a number 8. And now looking at my wingers. Uh, right wing here is somebody with decent determination. Although work rate, composure, not great. Begay. He's okay pace. Like for his finishing to be better. We'll give him a trot out, see how he does. And up front, striker. Padone. Wow. I am going to struggle to score up front probably. 13 finishing is not bad. Good pace. Um, doesn't dribble super well. But again, maybe comparatively to other players in the division or our conference, it'll be it'll be good. Um, okay, so that's my squad. Uh, just a quick look. Again, I'm not going to go super in-depth because I'm not going to make this a 30-minute video. Um, but uh, there you can kind of see what I'm dealing with. I've got some building to do. This first season, um, we might... I feel like we'll, we'll be competitive in the conference with a chance to win it. Um, but our conference is not very good compared to the other conferences in college soccer. So we probably won't get very far into the NCAA tournament if we qualify. But, you know, it's the beginning. It's building, right? So, um, so that's our squad staff-wise. Let's see what we've got. The coaching team is just me. <laughs> okay, so i got to go hire everybody. Zero assistants. Uh, no coaches. I... I don't know why I would hire a head of youth development. Uh, and in the USA, the lower level teams don't develop their youth players. Only academy teams do. So I'm not going to worry about a head of youth development. My medical team, again, nothing. Nobody here. Nobody on the scouting team. Although I don't really need a scout. Uh, I might hire one just to have one. I can have a chief scout and a regular scout, but won't do much scouting. Um, maybe some. You know, looking for free transfers, that kind of thing. So staff-wise, I am just about empty. Uh, looking at training, I'll sh I'm, again, I'm not going to make you watch all of this, but I'll kind of show you the training challenges that amateur teams had to deal with for those of you who do have never played as a train as a uh, amateur team. Um, but looking at schedule-wise, so if I want to, let's see if I can pull up one of my. Well, we'll just I'll just show you real quick how it goes. Um, again. Usually, if you have a professional team, you have a lot more options here. So let's just, let's say I want to go preseason, early preseason, no matches. I can only train on Tuesday, Thursday, and then Saturday if I don't have a game. So I've got to build a training schedule that gets my guys enough work in enough areas for them to uh, develop and that is not going to be easy. Um, maybe in the next video, next episode, I'll show you sort of what I did here. But uh, I'm not going to, again, make you watch all that stuff. 
Um, we'll look real quick at the competition. So the Southern Conference it consists of us and six other teams, Belmont, Furman, Mercer, Greensboro, VMI, and Wofford. And it is not one of the stronger conferences in NCAA soccer. Um, it is one of 24 conferences, for those of you unaware. And uh, But as you can tell, not one of the best. Um, well, you might not be able to tell that just from looking at this, but I can tell you that it's not one of the best. Probably your strongest conference, and we'll just, just for giggles, we'll look at one of the stronger conferences. Maybe the strongest in NTA soccer is the Atlantic Coast Conference. Um, I probably won't be able to see much skill wise, but one of the stronger programs in college soccer and in uh, the ACC is Virginia. Yeah, I'm not going to be able, probably be, be able to see anything. Yeah, no, but I. Um, Virginia, just looking quickly at the history, um, they have won the conference 13 times. They've won seven national championships. Um, they are obviously, they're also the former program of former U S national team head coach, Bruce Arena. He won four national championships in a row with Virginia. Um, another strong co uh, team in the league is probably North Carolina, Look at their history real quick. Yeah, they've won a couple championships. Last one was in 2011. Maryland is another ACC team. Oh, they left the ACC and went to the Big Ten. But uh, the ACC, one of the stronger conferences. Ours is not very, so we only are probably going to get the one bid. So if we want to get an automatic bid, we have to win the Southern Conference Tournament and uh, make it to the NCAA and... The way the tournament is kind of built, it's built so that the better you do in the season, the later you enter the enter the tournament. So if I can get in first or second, I'll I'll enter the tournament in the semifinal. So that'll be our goal, is to finish as one of the top two teams in the league. And this is our schedule. Obviously, the first part of the season, we're going to be playing mostly non-conference games. Uh, we'll start off the year against Rhode Island in August. That is long time away does it say yeah 229 days away and uh our first conference game is against mercer we'll go at mercer and that is 268 days away so it's over a month after starting the season will we play our first conference game which is good because the re the likelihood of us earning an at-large bid is low so those non-conference games will give us a chance to get our guys ready for the real season, the conference season, and that's our best chance of making the NCAA tournament. And that'll be our, our ultimate goal, is qualifying for the NCAA tournament and then seeing how deep into the competition we can go. So um, so that's a quick brief look at, the, uh, at my American Football 20 save as we uh, dive in with our... Manager Tony Stark as he tries to lead the East Tennessee State Buccaneers uh, into the upper echelon of college soccer in the United States. And then from there, we'll see where he goes. I plan on making this a journeyman save, as I usually do with these. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, please let me know. But this is Uncle Sam FM signing off. We'll see you next time.